All right, well, this is as fucking good, good at hand as any. Hold! All right, what's going on, guys? Getting started today. We got coffee. We've got four bullets. We're not gonna six table, because we're gonna keep it tight. With the W coop main. Yeah, I don't think overriding flops is gonna be a thing at 30 big lines effective. Obviously, continuing to check is fine. And so is shoving the river, and so is giving up. I should just give up. Son of a bitch. I don't really like overcalling the cutoff here with these student hands. Why do I keep getting dealt these hands that feel like they just need to be three bet? Uh, I really don't want to do this, but this hand's really good for this and. That's a bit annoying, but like that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes, like sometimes you're just getting dealt all the hands you feel like you're supposed to bluff with, and you're just like that's how that's how random just works. Like, some you know sometimes it's just annoying as fuck. You know, like I just didn't. I wish I didn't get dealt king ten suited that hand. Like it felt like I'm gonna get fucking four bet, but it's like you know you got dealt king ten suited. What are you gonna do? Uh, what are you gonna do? We uh, we see about the flop and he folded. We overcalled ace eight offsuit before the flop, so Finton opened, got flatted by in position, and I overcalled big blind with ace eight off, which is standard. Flop goes check check, I check turn, also standard. Obviously, in position can have sixes. Ace 10, Ace Queen still. You can be bluffing with hands like King Queen. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna lose to fucking ace nine. Or ace queen. A not small part of me wants to just fucking rip it, but I don't think I have the right blocker for that. I don't think he ever has eight nine, so. Oh, lost ace six. Like, I just.
There we go. Got a little pop back. We got bet called by a hand that blocks boats. We got bet called by 10 8. I think that's a reasonable bet call by my student. still bluff like this. I have a range of sizings I can use here. Obviously betting small would be one of them. The sizing has some upside in this exact scenario. Basically some incongruencies that make it We tried. Yeah, he folded jacks. I believe it. I mean, like, I'm sure you guys saw it. I believe he folded jacks. I believe he folded jacks. Probably put me on a set. I mean, I can have, I can have six, I can have, I can have some bluffs, but I mean, like, he could, I'm gonna have strong hands there too. So, I mean, like, I believe that he folded jacks. I told you it's tighter. Doesn't mean I have to fold in every spot, but Allison's really good, and I might get four bet from his continuing range, but. Looks like we have someone who has aces or doesn't care about the bubble. I mean, it feels like Allison's gonna be the one with aces, but I don't actually think he would do that. So I'm just gonna ignore the fact that he gave the speech. He knows not to call though. Hmm. I almost feel like
Allison. Allison tried to fucking make a move. I mean, it was like such an aces speech. I was like, oh my god. I had to do some thinking. I did some serious soul searching before I pressed the call button. I had to do some serious soul searching. I'm gonna have the time bank, so I'm gonna fucking use it if someone talks like that. Man. And like, we, you know, I'll take it. A pretty like superficial face value at 50,000 hands, but I would, wouldn't say like you should really think about it at all. You want to think more about 100,000 hands. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh shit, that's a fucking set. Oh my god, oh my fucking Lanta. Let's just fucking get some money in the middle. Actually, I actually think this is one of the spots where I'm gonna be mostly betting this set. Just keep putting the money in, dude. So we're going to be Oh shit. Oh shit, we got him. We fucking got him. Poor guy. Poor guy. I mean, I would he would I would he would have got me if the rolls were reversed. Oh my god, cooling people in 5Ks. Oh my god, this fucking cat. Holy shit. What the fuck are you doing, cat? You're gonna fucking kill me when I'm trying to play for fucking a million dollars. You're gonna kill me when I'm playing for a million dollars. You know you've cost me $30,000 already before. So I'm be stacking up on this flop. There are some flops I could fold on, but this this wasn't this wasn't one of them. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I think getting pot there would have been reasonable. Well, if you're gonna bluff, if you're gonna bluff with the f and make the four high flush like that,
This is so sick. I think this player is just too tight from there, from this from these positions. To actually have enough bluffs. Yeah, and that's and then go from there, um, be able to like you know focus down, focus on like the two or three things that the coach thinks are the things you do the, the most wrong, and then um, and and help you out that way. I feel like everybody expects me to take this spot, but we're still gonna take this spot. Damn it. NH, NH. I think that, that that hand class is good for like what I did, so. It's like enough that I can do it and not so much that I'm gonna be pissed off when I have to bet full. Seems like four ways, seems all right. I could have checked back, obviously. I addressed the question. So hopefully you guys feel better with the answer. But if anybody doesn't feel comfortable with the answer, like you can, like uh, that's fine. Like if you if you think it invalidates my opinion or something, like that's that's totally all right. Like, you can make your obviously make your own judgments. And we do the same thing, by the way. We do this, the same thing that I said. Like you have to filter out the ten, like the five Ks, ten Ks, and twenty five Ks and stuff. The same thing that I'm telling you to do. That's what we do when we stake, when we investigate whether or not we're going to stake someone. We do the exact same thing. I actually didn't think that that hand would open. I mean, like, I thought it might open, but I didn't think it would. I didn't think that the opposite variations of that hand were always going to be, were always going to be opened on that stack. Otherwise, I would have checked. That sucked a little bit. Otherwise, yeah. I mean, I might have had a check there. Went a bit thin. Went a bit thin. I felt like the opening range would be really dense, like ace high hands, and I don't think it's a bad open, but it's probably a little bit difficult.
nice hand, Fintin. I would have jammed that hand if it was King Jack suited, but I think King 10 suited, I'm probably supposed to call with more. And could have bluffed the turn. But I think it's I think it's play standard. I think I mean I think the hand in general is generous is in general is pretty standard RAM. Two players we do not stake is essentially what, what we do. I know I know you want to cuddle, but Fucking out. That's like the first hand I've won in what feels like a fucking hour. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a tiny spot, but it feels amazing because I haven't won a hand in ages. It's like just really attractive to watching it. Like when you watch, you, like if you follow the like the NFL or something, like there's just or the or so, or football, soccer, whatever your sport is. Like there are just so many players, there are so many teams, and like that's the, the nice thing about Formula One is that it's you, you get to know all of the racers, you get to know all the drivers. And it's been undermarketed, I think, it's particularly in North America for like a really for a really long time. And um, yeah, it's been massively under undermarketed in the United States. And in just in North America generally. And um, I think I think Formula One was bought by one of John Malone's companies. And that's that's gonna change. And so I think it's going to get, I think it's going to become, just from a marketing perspective, it's going to become a lot more interesting. There's going to, there's, they're going to do a lot more with the sport over the next four or five years. Like they're going to do shit loads more with it. And so it's going to get like even more interesting going forward. So looking forward to it. All right. Well, this is as fucking good, good at hand as any. Hold. Yes! Right when the fucking day ends. Boom! Ten minutes to go. Get those fucking chips. Right at the fucking end. Yes! Fuck yes. Patience. You see that shit? What did we do? We didn't do shit. And I am very aggressive. But we didn't do anything stupid. We're like, oh fuck, Ace 4 suited. You gotta be kidding me. I got robbed with that Ace 4 suited. I wanted to do something so damn badly. Just patient, patient, patient. Sometimes you just gotta bitch out for a long time. It feels terrible. You're just like, oh my god. This folding shit. This one tabling and folding for four hours in a fucking row? Like I'm gonna die of fucking old age before I play a fucking hand kind of thing? Holy smokes! How long do we have to wait? Board texture, obviously, right check a lot. But I don't check that hand much. Oh, man. I'm feeling good. I'm happy to be back in this shit. Like, with fucking five, ten minutes, just ten minutes to go. And we're back in the game. Ten minutes to go and we're back in the game. Fucking love it. Jesus. Like, ten minutes to go and we're like, okay, we're comfy. Like, going into tomorrow, not with like 15 big blinds. Like, alright, fuck, I'm all in. I'll, like, hope I win. You know, we got that shit out. We got that shit taken care of. We're going into tomorrow with like a reasonable, reasonable position. Uh... 
All right. Good luck, us. Bad shit happens. Sometimes you lose tournaments. Would have been fucking annoying to have busted there, though, if I'm totally honest with you. You know, shit happens, but busting with, like, you know, eight minutes to the end of the day with, like, a reasonably okay-ish stack to be a little bit disheartening. We still have to make it to tomorrow. We still have to make it to tomorrow. Bad shit can still happen, but thank you, Irish dude. Preach. Don't do it, John. Don't do it, John. I have aces, John. Oh, shit. Did I just say I have aces? Oh, oh, God, yes. Right at the end of the fucking day. Okay, let's get some chips now. Come on. Come on, John. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one bets. Need for expectations. Come on, let's get some chips. Let's get some chips. Come on. Don't get don't get cooler though. I'm too excited to get cooler. Obviously, we could go for all of it there. Like, that's, that's a possibility. We got hero called by Jack7. We got hero called by Jack7. Which I think is, you know, fine. All right, so that's the end of the stream, guys. That is the end of the stream. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right. Cool. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.